Fighting to move forward as horrific details in the murder of 25-year-old Kevin Bacon have been released. The Swartz Creek man was killed last month after meeting someone on a dating app. 50-year-old Mark Latunsky is accused in the vicious murder. His public defender says he will ask for a forensic evaluation and plans on filing an insanity defense. And we cannot emphasize this enough. What you are about to hear is extremely graphic and will be upsetting to many. TV5's Rachel McCreary has a look at the court documents detailing what investigators found at Latunsky's home. We hope that this doesn't happen to somebody else. Carl and Pamela Bacon's son, Kevin, was brutally murdered over the holidays. Last week, they laid him to rest and now face the challenge of moving forward without him. It'll be hard, but it's what we got to do for it, Kevin. Yeah. The Bacons say they plan on seeking justice for their son. Mark Latunsky is now charged in his death. We want to repeat the warning that this new information is gruesome. Police say Latunsky admitted to stabbing Kevin, then telling officials that he wrapped a rope around his ankles and hung him from the rafters of the ceiling in his Bennington Township home. He also admitted to removing certain body parts and consuming them. Carl says he's thankful that police were able to find his son as soon as they did, despite the outcome. I, I think our efforts, it may not have saved him, but it did help. It, it helped prevent awareness. further uh, 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 help prevent a further catastrophe, I guess. It's uh, the right, the right way I want to put it. I, I'm, I was afraid that the suspect may have done more harm to him than what he already did right. if we didn't push as hard in the search as we did. Police found Kevin's body four days after he disappeared. The family believes the two were strangers that met on a dating app. Police say they're still digging into Latunsky's past and they're asking anyone who had a recent run in with him to come forward. The Bacons say they are now in the early stages of grief and are looking at different ways to remember their beloved son. Try, uh, try to move on. The try best to move we can. on. Yeah. And I, we want to do scholarships in his honor. Try to move on. And Just remember him the best we can. In Sports Creek, Rachel McCrary, WNEM TV5. Now, Latunsky is due back in court this Wednesday. State police are asking anyone with information regarding Kevin Bacon's death or about Latunsky that would be beneficial to this case to call the number that's right there on your screen. Now, you can also send the information in an email. You'll find both of these contacts on our website, WNEM.com.